If you're a WooCommerce user, then you know that default WooCommerce emails doesn't look any good. Therefore, in this video, I'm going to show you how to customize your WooCommerce emails. For example, we're going to create an email that looks like the one you see on the screen right now. As you see, it has a logo, custom messages if needed, address information is separated. I can add custom text below and I can customize my footer as I like. So if you're interested, then jump in because it's going to be a fun ride and it's going to take only a couple of minutes to set up. Now, in order to accomplish all that, we need to install a plugin. Therefore, go to the plugins, add new and search for Cadence email. This one here, Cadence WooCommerce email designer. Install and activate it. And after that, you'll see a email customizer menu under the WooCommerce menu. So click on it. And it opens up the customizer where all the magic happens. So let's take a look at the menus and the pre-built templates. There is another one for you to download. If you're interested, then open the link, enter your email, and they will send you this template. But I'm not going to use this one here. So by default, the first template is loaded. Maybe I would like to use this one. Therefore, I'm going to select it and load it. Click OK. It's going to take a couple of seconds. And there you go, this narrow template here. I don't like it very much, therefore let's take a look at the third one here. And it seems to me that out of those three templates, I like the first one the most, therefore I'm gonna reload it once again. Next, let's take a look at the email type and text. I can customize all sorts of emails. Completed order, pro processing order, cancelled order, and so on. So let's take a look at the new order email. Just select it, and as you see, the content changes here. If you change the cancelled order, as you see, the content changes here and also here, so you can customize it as you like. So let's customize the customer processing order email. First, as you see, there is a email subject and there are some placeholders you can use for example order number let's add an email your order paste the order number and some text next one is a heading text thanks for your order let's change this one next one is a subtitle this one up here thank you for the for your order and let's add the first name here next one if i would like i can change the body text and add some additional text here and this additional text appears down below and this way i can customize all the emails for example completed order all the subjects headings and so on i'm not gonna bother you with that because the logic is the same as previously refunded order on hold order and so on so processing order next one let's move to the container and i can change the container background color for example blue i don't like it therefore i'm gonna leave it to white i can set the content width currently it's 600 pixels and fluid width i can change it and i can disable the fluid width but I like it as it is, 600 pixels. If you use border, then you can change the border radius, border top width, for example, border right width, and border color is here, for example, this one. But I'm not going to use any borders, therefore I'm going to set it to zero. Next one is shadow, but there is a warning that most email clients do not yet support this one, therefore I'm, gonna, I'm not going to touch this one. I'm going to save it and let's move to the header. Header image is this logo here. I'm going to select my own logo. That one here, image width. It's going to be 100 pixels. Background color, for example, dark. And therefore, I'm going to select the white logo here. Looks a bit better and therefore save. Also, I can choose whether the image is placed inside or outside the body container inside looks like this one here but i like the outside more 
and I can set the image align also, but center is good for me. Header style, background color, and now we're talking about this header here. I'm gonna leave it to white as it is, and I can select the padding and text alignment here. Next one, heading itself, this text here. 32 pixels, line height, some fonts. You can't use the uh, Google fonts here, but you can use the default fonts that every computer uses. Therefore, I'm gonna leave it to Helvetica. Heading style, font weight, for example. I think that the normal weight is good. Subtitle placement below or after heading. I'm gonna leave it above. And there are some subtitle related options here. Now let's go back to the customizer and let's open up the content. Content container, once again, you can choose a background if needed. I'm gonna leave it as it is. There are some paddings, I'm not gonna touch those. Next one, heading styles. These here, font weight. I'm gonna change it to normal as it is. You can change heading colors and so on. Separators, separator is this one here, as you see. I'm gonna set the separator height to two pixels. Looks a bit better. better. Now I'm gonna open up the content text style. Link colors, content text color. I'm gonna change the color a bit. Link color, I'm gonna set to bluish. Nothing else here for me to configure, therefore order items. There is a order table style, normal style. This one here, but I don't like it. Therefore I'm gonna set it to light style. I can choose whether to show the product image or not. And the image size here, I'm gonna set it to 40 pixels. Although it seems that 50 looks a bit better, therefore 50 it is. Table bracket. Background for odd colors, I'm gonna set it to F9, F9, F9. I can set the paddings, top and bottom, border width, border style. And whether the table heading is split or normal, let's see what is a normal here. This one. I don't like it, therefore I'm gonna leave it as split. For me it looks a bit better. So, let's see what else do we have here. Address area, this one here. Background color, you can change it. I'm gonna set it to F9, F9, F9. Looks a bit better than it was before. I can set the padding also here. And border width, border color, I'm gonna set it to D, D, D. And it's gonna be a solid border here. Text color, I'm gonna make it a bit darker and I'm gonna save it. Next, let's take a look at the footer here. So, footer style, whether it's outside, body container or inside, let's see what the inside is. As before, I like outside better, therefore I'm gonna leave it as it is. There is a top padding and bottom padding I can set, but I like it as it is, therefore I'm gonna leave it. Footer social, I can set the social media options here. And if I don't need something here, I'm just gonna delete the field here. If I need a new field, I'm gonna add it. Open it up. Whether it's bundled icon or custom upload icon, I can do that here. At the moment, I'm gonna delete this one here. Some font weight options, I'm not gonna touch those. Instead, I'm gonna open up the footer credit, this one here. Site title is shown, all rights reserved, but I can add some contact information here. For example, phone number, email, and so on. So, footer is also done. If I need to add some custom styles here, I can add some custom CSS, I'm not gonna do that. I can import or export the settings it's a nifty feature, for example, if, if I need to export all the settings from this site to other site, then I can do that. Just click on the export button, download the file, and if you need to import, then just choose the file, you export it and upload it here. 
Now let's send the preview email. All the settings are saved. I'm going to send the email. Click OK. It says that email is sent. And this one, as you see, your order is being processed. And this is my email. Looks much better than the default WooCommerce email, doesn't it? Now, if you're new to my channel, then probably you don't know that, that I have created a bunch of WooCommerce related tutorials like this one here. If you're interested, then take a look at the screen right now, because there is a playlist to all my WooCommerce related tutorials. Now, if you like the video, then press thumbs up and let me know in the comments whether you know any other good WooCommerce plugins I should know about. Meanwhile, take care.